بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي انزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اما بعد Thank you very much everybody for joining me today this uh, video program inshallah ta'ala we will be talking about an update of my last year's video which I was actually it was back 2021 uh, that video I made with uh, brother brother Umar Baluji on his YouTube channel and we were discussing and talking about the uh, true reality and knowledge about the Ajuju Majuju. So in this video, inshallah ta'ala, I also uh, prepared another slide and or another presentation that I want to also another time we will see this kind of presentation and what may be I'm going to offer, inshallah ta'ala, to the Muslim Ummah or anybody who may be interested, the true history and so many stuff that they have been hearing from us about the Ajuju Majuj. Uh, as you know, it, Yajuj Majuj in Islam, in, in Islam, as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, told us that it's one of those 10 major signs that Prophet told us will happen. So, since I did so many research about the Ajuj Majuj, and as a Muslim, we believe that Yajuj Wamajuj, also in English or some of the European language, Gog and Magog. As you know it, Gog stand, it's it's for Yajuj and Magog, it's for Majuj. So they say that the name of uh, Gog and Magog have been mentioned in the Old Testament or Book of Torah, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given to Prophet Moses or Moses. So as they provided the genealogy of children of Noah, Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, they, they also, I mean, this information of genealogy of children of Noah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that the three sons of Noah were uh, offspring of current humans we have here on earth, as as the Ayah Quran said in uh, uh, in Surah Safat. So basically, genealogy of children of Noah, Muslims don't pay a lot of attention, but I have been researching a lot of how do they. How, how, how do they offspring each other? What is the father of this tribe? What's the father, father of this tribe? What, what kind of connection they have, all of them? Something I'm always very amazed is that the name of Yajuj yeah, or Magog, uh, excuse me, the name of, yes, yeah, the name of Yajuj, yeah, which is Gog in English or some of the European Latin languages, the name of uh, Gog, which is uh, which is uh, Yajuj, you know, an Islamic term or Arabic. Actually, you cannot find anywhere who is who is the father of Yajuj or Magog, uh, who is the father of Gog. So, I discover very very important secret that not. Islamic scholars, if you pay attention of this, and nobody knows why. But evidently, as you're going to see today, the Jewish scholars and Christian scholars have been hiring the name of Gog, uh, his, uh, uh, his father, all, all kind of information, inshallah ta'ala. So let's get, let's, get, let's get it into this information. 
Okay, as a Muslim, is we believe that Yajuj and Majuj, Gog and Magog, are human beings, and according to the narration, they are from. They are from. Or origini of, Yafis. Yafis in English is a Jabed, father of Caucasian races, especially Europeans and Northern Asians, as we call it, Oriental Asians. So as Muslims, we believe that and Yafis is the son of Noah. So we believe that the Ajuj Majuj are from, are two brothers of, from uh, the third son of Prophet Noah, for Nabi Noah, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. And that name is Yafis, as he mentioned it in Arabic, and his English, Jabed. So, inshallah, my presentation today is going to show us that uh, this name you're going to see short, Gomer. Gomer, I believe, is actually Gog. It's the Gog or Yajuj in the Quran. And as you know it, Gomer, they call that so many European tribes came from Gomer. Most of Germanic tribes, Northern Europeans, the Turkic people, the Ashkenaz, I will say, I will say, like maybe more than more than ninety percent of currently white Europeans came from Gomer, as they told us. So let's get the the names of Yafis or Javed. The, I mean, uh, his children. Okay, as you can see over here. As you can see over here, Jabed, Arabic, as you mentioned it before, is a Yafis. So they said Yafis had seven children. Maigag. Let's, let's start first. Uh, Gomer, as I highlighted. Maigag, Madei, Jafan, Tubal, Meshek, and Tiras. Okay, as I said, this is this is the information we get the Bible of books, the Kitab. And remember, anytime you're dealing with the uh, Bible of the book, you gotta uh, you gotta follow the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he said, "La tu'minu ala wa la tukadigu." Do not believe them and do not disbelieve them either. So, if you believe them. If you believe them, maybe they're saying the, the truth. And if, if you don't, if you don't believe them, maybe they don't. So basically, this is the rule I follow when I'm investigating the history or whatever book of uh, book of uh, people of book wrote anything. Basically, Christians and Jews. So as long as they confirm me with the Quran and Sunnah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I go with them. No problem. But if they contradicted the, uh, uh, the Quran and Hadith, they totally, whatever they say is uh, useless to me. So, but like I say, this information is not available to any Islamic scholar, except that Ibn Kasir, uh, he said, yeah, Juj and Majuj are two tribes of Turkis. Actually, it's not like that. Because, you see, Turkus, Turkis are sub tribes of Yajuj and Majuj. And I want to say something very important. The video I made about year and uh, yeah, like year and a half ago with that brother of YouTube, uh, so many people complain that I call the some Muslims Yajuj and Majuj. No, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. I want to tell you something very important. Uh, remember Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, which Allah called his best friend. His father is in the Quran, his name Azar. His father was one of the worst polytheists that lived his time. He's, in other words, one of the disbelievers that time. So 
the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is Ibrahim, his own father was one of the most disbelievers hated by Allah and by Muslims. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter whether your father was Yajiju Majuj or you are Burujini or, or, or offspring or children of Yajiju Majuj, it really doesn't matter. The something is more the the thing most matter is that you're a Muslim and you believe Allah and His Prophet. That's it. So it really doesn't matter what the uh, what your parents will will be, whether whether they are Yajuji Majuj or something worse or related to Fir'aun. It doesn't matter. The matter the the things matter most is that you have iman, you have faith in Islam, and you believe in Islam. That's it. So if you are one of those tribes that we're talking about, it, is, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The things, like I said, matter is your faith in Islam. That's all. So, so as you can see over here in front of your screen, Gomer, Magag, Madai, they are all children of Javed or Yafis. So as you can see over here, there is no mention or written of Magog. I mean, uh, Gog, Gog, Yajuj. So I've been investigating, it took me a couple of years. Where is in the, how can I find the, the father of Gog? I remember I, I, in, in our Islamic belief, Yajuj and Majuj or Gog and Magog are two brothers from uh, the son of Prophet Noah, Prophet Noah Noah, his name is Javed. So you cannot find it. But I believe that, I believe that the, the Bible, you know, that uh, the Old Testament or New Testament, it's all, they did so many corruptions. There's, you cannot even tell what, what is true and what is not. And uh, they all mix it up, really. Those three books, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give uh, Prophet Moses, uh, Prophet Dawood or David, and Prophet Isa alayhi salam, kulluhuma alayhi salam, all of them, may Allah uh, give them peace, peace be upon them. And they all mix it up. And you cannot even tell which books they refer to. So it's all corrupted, most of them. And you cannot even tell any truth uh, from. So let's continue. So as you can see over here, uh, Gomer, I believe it's a Gog, and they intentionally hide. Why do they do that? Because as you can see at the bottom, uh, oh, under the Gomer, Ashkenaz is one of the signs of Gomer. The other one is it's a it's a it's a Ribad, and the other one is a Togorma, which they call father of Turks. Okay, Ashkenaz, as you know it, the European Jews call themselves Ashkenazi Jews. So, their original, they were from Javed. They were not from Sham. And strangely, strangely, most Europeans, such as Germany, uh, Anglo-Saxonists, Excluded by the way, ancient British uh, people, which is uh, Irish and Scots and Bigs, people used to call Bigs and Welsh. We're gonna go to their history, where they come from. But uh, the Northern Europeans, like Scandinavians, such as Norwegian, uh, Middle Age, early Middle Age Viking, all of those are actually from Ashkenaz. So Ashkenazi Jews and European and Northern Europeans are actually the same tribe, as you can see over here. And the, the, there were several tribes who used to rule on earth. And those tribes came from this another uh, grandson of Noah called Tiras and Jafan and Madai. Madai actually are ancient Median people that used to rule what's now Iran. And the, the other two are ancient like Tarshish people in Spain and Portugal and Italy, which is like Romanists. 
Tuscany, uh, I mean Tuscan people, all of the all of the ancient Greek uh, tribes, they're from this too. But we don't know the offspring of Meshek and Tubal. So let's continue one more time. So since uh, they don't know the offspring of other two sons of Jabed, which as I mentioned is, is a Tubal and Meshek, who are actually mixed up with the Turkish and other and other, and other uh, Gomerian people, they left the offer here. So they only have uh, four. So first one is uh, Ashkenaz. They said Gomer had three children. First one was Ashkenaz, Kribat, and Togorma. Okay, Togorma, they said, Togorma, they said actually it's the father of Turks, and Ashkenaz is a uh, Virginians or Ashkenazi Sakai. Okay, these three names, uh, let me explain these two, three names. This is actually most likely is uh, ancient and Phrygian, which is where the Viking came from. And this is Ashkenazi, An which is Scania. They used to call what's now uh, Norway and, and Sweden. That's where you get the name Scania. And actually, this is also where you get the name Scandinavia. So, and here's another tribe called Sakai. Sakai are actually ancient Ashkenaz people who later on we call them Sitians. And Sitians are uh, progenitor or ancient fathers of Khazar Jews, Khazar Turkish, all Kanu, all Kanu, uh, Caspian area and Black Sea between all those, all those areas, they were a they used to call Sakai. And uh, <clears throat> these are also Ribad are one of those middle uh, in the European middle, uh, somewhere between Eastern Europe and Western Europe. And uh, as I mentioned, Togorma is also uh, most of Turkic tribes. So basically, uh, and Magog, also Sitian. As you can see over here, the uh, the, people, the people of the people of Jabed actually they intermingle a lot. They mix it up one another a lot, a lot. It's very difficult to separate them. So over here you have Magog or Majuj, you have Saitianis, which is also Sakai people they related to. They also related the uh, Tokarma or Turkic people. You have Tartaris, you have Hanis. Hanis, remember, is one of those tribes led by Attila Dahan on the uh, 4th century. And, and a couple of other tribes, actually, that are what we call now Asiatic Oriental, like Turkic speaking now. Uh, remember, Many of the Turkic tribes now, or ancient Turkic tribes, became Muslim. So this is just historical. Like he said uh, before, it doesn't matter what your father was. It just uh, we just get information to see people. So and uh, Jafan is a uh, Elishar, uh, Tarshish, Kitim. These are people of what's called now is being in Portugal. People used to live there. And Tiras are actually uh, ancient uh, Minoan, ancient Greek civilization, all, all of them. And like I mentioned, Mede are ancient Medes, which is very close to current Persians and all kind of stuff uh, related to each other. Those people, like I said, children of Javed, they really intermingle a lot. They intermix it a lot. It's very difficult to separate them. but. My point and uh, the point I'm making is today is that it's actually Gomer is a Yajuj of the Quran. Gomer is a Yajuj of the Quran. Okay, how many nations of Gomer we have now? Ancient, they said there were people used to call uh, Sumerian, uh, Chimerians or Sumerians. 
so many people they used to call uh, Gomerian. For example, British uh, World War II general called Montgomery, they said that, that name is Mount of Gomery, Montgomery, Mount of Gomer, or Mount of Yajuj. So basically, the people we call now British, mostly English, are not actually original British people. Uh, they came and offered to, they invaded uh, British Island on 6th century. At the beginning of 4th century, some people say, but they finished taking over that uh, island on 6th uh, century. And there were three tribes. The most, uh, the largest one was Angolo, who came from originally southern Scandinavia, especially southern Denmark. Second largest tribe was Saxonists, who came from northern Germany. There is region still in Germany called uh, Saxonists to this day. And third one name was uh, Jews, who also came from Denmark. So all those tribes were Germanic, first of all, and they were Viking, and they were ancient Phrygian. All of them were part of uh, uh, Gomer, or as we call it today, Gog, or Yajuj. So the people who populate Western Europe today are actually majority of them, I will say 90% they are Gomerians. And some, some scholars believe that the name German, it came from Gomer. So I believe the, na the name of German or Germanic tribes, when they say linguistically, linguistically uh, it's, actually, it's actually Gog. And the reason I say that, if we go back the previous screen, you cannot find anywhere of seven sons of Chabed, one of the son, one of the sons of uh, of Brother Noah, Brother Noah, the name of Mago, uh, the name of Gog, and we believe that as Muslims, Gog is the brother of Magog. So if we have over here the name of Magog, which is Majuj, in Arabic Quranic. How come we cannot find it, anything that related to uh, uh, Gog or Yajuj? Because one of these names, he cannot be one of these names, Median, we know that it's a Persian, all of this. So basically, I believe that the, intentionally they removed the name Go, uh, Gog and replaced it with Gomer. And the reason is that to hide this name, Ashkenaz, who we call Jews today, so they won't be called people of Gog and Magog. You see what I'm going to this? They intentionally remove or change the name Gog to Gomer so they can hide the necessary name, which is Gog. Okay, let's get, let's go in. I believe we we understood that Gomer is actually Gog because there's no any other name that you can find the children of Javed, whose name is Gog. And sometimes they're really corrupted. They say, uh, Gog is a land of Magog. What is that? Gog? Gog is a, is a land of Magog? No, no, no. This not are, uh, these names are not for land's name. They're not for nation. Uh, they're not for countries. These are individual. In, originally, they were uh, individual names. Then later on, it can be called nations. But you cannot call land just as, I mean, land of Magog, that's all corrupted. You can tell that they hire in some name, and that name is Gog, it's actually Gomer. So Western Europe and NATO is a Gog. And Eastern Europe, we're gonna, we're gonna go into the people who used to call Kivian Rus, which is where Russia came from, they were Swedes, they were a Viking. They were not native to that area, they came from Sweden on uh, 8th century toward the 9th century. So, and they actually invaded the Slavs, or oh, Slavs of most of Slavic tribes were originally part of, uh, as we're going to see now, Magogs. Remember, Gog and Magog, Magogs are Eastern Europe. Istabe, Northern Asia, Northern China, 
Mongolia, all kind of that area, uh, Korea, Japan, uh, Eastern Turkey, all of them were actually are part of Magog. But there were the people who now who now received Western Europe, especially British Island, Spain, who used to live that area of uh, what's called now China. And they were the Magog people, but later on they moved to Western Europe. So I I believe that my investigation now shows that Gomer is a gog. Okay, this is this is the one of the first people of Magog and and like I said, Gog and Magog, they always these two tribes, they always mix it up, mix it up, and it's very difficult to separate them unless you are truly, truly Islamic. Uh but the person who follow Islamic history a lot and also a lot of, a lot of physical history of European history, you have to know many of the European tribes. And praise to Allah, Allah blessed me with a full knowledge of knowing ancient Europeans. I used to read a lot of them. I know a lot of Europeans. So basically, gods are, are one of the, remember, gods were one of those tribes that destroyed the Roman Empire. And Roman Empire were not were not actually a part of Gog and Magog. They were not Gomer. Uh, they were a brother of Gomer, like Japan and all kind of, uh, the, the Roman people, the ancient Greek people, ancient Spanish people, they were not part of Gog and Magog. So actually, it's the, at the, by the time of uh, turn of the century, the Gog people, uh, Gog and Magog, started catching up the ancient Europe, uh, ancient Middle Eastern, ancient Semitic, all kind, all kind of kingdoms. They were overthrown one by one. So gods were uh, first one with the Hans. Hans were uh, Magog from East related to Turkish, Turkic people. They they attacked Rome, and also they were also Barthian. They also were a part of a city and is so the writers of their of that time they called descendant of Magog, their people of Magog. So everybody that time who knew anything about Babel, they called them Gog and Magog. Remember, the ancient Romans were not part of Gog and Magog, uh, Gog and Magog so any tribes that are corruption, murder, all kind of bad things they associated with the Gog and Magog until Gog and Magog, every, uh, the people they used to call Gog and Magog, they overthrew Roman Empire and Greeks Empire and all of that. And last, uh, last uh, known Gog and Magog European Empire was Byzantium, which was overthrown by Khilafat Usmanian, who were Muslims, but originally are Turk Turkish who are also originally from uh, Gog and Magog, but they were Muslims. So, uh, I mean, that's the reason I'm, I'm bringing again, it doesn't matter what your, uh, what your ancestors were, as long as, you, as long as you're Muslim, you should be fine. So these people, they were called uh, Gog and Magog barbarian that time. So, uh, this is one of those another tribes, Hanis, Alanis, Alanis. Most of majority Alanis went to Spain, and then Portugal, and uh, and then when Christopher Columbus discovered the New World, they, they moved to Brazil. Their ancient city used to call Brasilia, and that's what the capital city of Brazil now called Brazil. And the name Bra uh, Brazil came from uh, this people, and this people used to live exactly the location which uh, Dulgarnain. Rahimullah who built the, the dam against the, the tribes. So Alan is one of the tribes of Yajuju Majuj. The other one was Afaris. Afaris were another very powerful Turkic tribes. Another one was Bulgaris. Bulgaris were original tribes of the country we call now Bulgaria. And uh, Magaris, Bulgaris people who call Bashkiris, Burtis. All these tribes were actually part of. Uh, until we go to Kabaret, Sabinderov, and Bashinigs. Actually, Bashinigs are actually 
what we call today Slav Slavic people of Ukraine. Remember that they were a part of Kaiser Empire. So we call now Ukrainian uh, Ukrainian Slavs, but they were but the, the name Slavs actually is part of European, it's part of Turkey. But remember, Turk Turkus are actually bridges that connected between Eastern Yajuj and Western Eastern Majuj and Western Yajuj. So Turkus are actually bridges that connected that to Oriental Asiatic and European uh, Yajuj. And the other one was Gusi, which is uh, ancestors or aborigine of Olaf uh, Osmani. And this is the people who discovered that Anglo Saxonists and, and the uh, and Anglo Saxonists and those Nordic people, they used to have leader called Odin. So this, this story goes by, let me read. And the Orin, and after defeat by the Persian in Bartia, that's the in Iran now, in the second in the second century of the current era, the Bartian and part of Scythian horde moved into the northwest Europe and established a number of nations, including the anglo saxons Jews, Freeds, until this day they live in uh in Netherlands called Fritz. And the Dutch, which is Greater Netherlands, Saxonists of Germany, Danes, which is Denmark, Norwegians, and some of the Swedes, Lombards. Lombards are people of uh, northern Italy now and southern Switzerland. They're part of Gogods, Suevi, another tribe that live in Germany now. Dalmatians, Vandalis, and others. Many of the Vandal tribes actually they became Muslims and they are original people of Tunisia. They established the nation of Western Europe from Spain and Portugal to Denmark and Norway across to Britain and Thule. Well, uh, that's the that's the Iceland and Greenland. So as you can see over here, the the ancient uh, the Bersian is another. They related to another tribe called Bertia, which is. Northern Europe. So basically, you can see that this war between NATO, which is basically Yajuj and Majuj army, they're always at fight, fight with uh, Persian, sorry, or they call now Iranian. We Iranian, which is Aryan, they all, that's the ancient name. And be, ancient people of Iran, they used to call Elamite, they were a Semitic people. But the Bertians and Bertian eliminated them. So that's how. And you got to know that historically, the English people are extremely interested in Iran. What is that? Because they're the same people. They're the same people. Iran and Bertian just became Muslims. And that's, I guess, part in the West. So Han is Huran. This, these are Mongol tribes. Gok Turkish, Khazar, Mongols, Tartaris. All of these, all of these are Eastern Majuj or Magog. And uh, so many Turkic empires also were a part of that. So basically, that that's the one. So I'm going to show you another one. This people call ancient white people in what's now uh, Terim Benzin in northwestern China, which is basically Xinjiang, where uh, uh, Turkic Uyghur Muslims live now. So basically, this this people they 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 historically they say that this people used to live there two thousand years ago, and after research that they've been researching since the end of seventy years by their DNA, they discovered that this people were. Red hair European is very close to people of Scotland now. You can see ancient uh, these people ancient clothing or their outfit to current uh, Scots clothing. So basically, these people they used to live there and they are originally Majuj. Uh, or, originally, these people are Majuj. Remember that Oriental Asians and 
Western Europeans or Eastern Europeans, is actually they are same people. They all came from Javed. So at the beginning of history, they were living together. They were not divided, but later on, they 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 separated. So these are ancient Magog people, or later on called the uh, Celtics, which is like Irish and Scots and all kind of uh, like Spanish. They used to live that area, and this is the where they live. There, where they used to live. Okay, I now I want to show you another history. Actually, they hide from us so many centuries. Did you know that Genghis Khan and his family had red hairs? They all had red hairs. They were ancient Khazarian. In fact, one of the brothers of Genghis Khan, his name was Khazar. Isn't that interesting? Okay, it says uh, Kaiser, it says Kaiser also is spared Hazar. Hazar is the name they call for Hazar, and also known as Joji, Hazar, Mongolian. Excab was one of the Genzhan's three full brothers, according to you, to the to the Jami al Jami al Tawarikh, his given name was Joji. And he got the nickname uh, Kaiser after he distinguished the bravery. He was also called the Habutu Hazar because he was a skillful archer, because he was skilled with bow. Uh, before I show you that image, I want to show you this. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when he was describing Yajuj Majuj, he said, uh, "They are uh, they are being well built and having red hair, small eyes, and wide flat shield like faces." Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam describing two describing this hadith two people, which are actually Oriental Asiatic people and red haired Europeans, and this is the people we call now or we call in. This video, Yajuju Majuj. So basically, Yajuju Majuj is a is a biological thing. It's a it's a gene uh, genealogical thing. It's not necessarily if you are Yajuju Majuj. It's not necessarily you cannot be bad. So it's not like that. But we just learn people they were. But if you're a Muslim or believe the existence of Allah, you should know worry nothing. You find. So. They said ancient, he actually, against Khan, they said he looked like this. This is this what he was look like. Red hair, small eyes. And look the next one. One of the historians of that time, he said that the son of uh, Genghis Khan and his successor, his uh, successor, his name was Ogadei, he lived uh, 1186 to 1241 AD, had gray eyes and red hair. His grandson, Mangu, between 1208 to 1259 AD, had reddish. You see that he had reddish eyebrows and red brown beard. His, uh, his grandson, Batu, also the first Khan of Golden Horde, that's the Eurasia, was. Freglet, you can see this. Genghis Khan, famous grandson, Kublai Khan, 1215 to 1294, had a dark hair, which likely came from his mother, Surgogtami Beki, a princess from the Allied Turkic tribe of Karaites, Rashid Adin, Tabib, 1247-1318 AD. Persian physician and historian of Jewish heritage recorded in his chronicle that Genghis was, that Khan was shocked to find that his grandson Kublai had not inherited his red hair. So very basically, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he said, "Yajuj uh, Majuj have red hair and small eyes," he was describing the Genghis Khan himself. You can see this, all of the red hair people are actually Yajuji Majuji in my opinion and they all are offspring and children of Jabed.
And as a Muslim, is we believe that the Ajuju Majuj are offspring of Jabet. So basically, what uh, history matches the saying of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So basically, inshallah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put this description to my uh, to the video, but you can see. So now I think if we go back in short time, Gomer is a gog of the Bible. It's a gog of the Quran and the uh, and the Bible. It's the is the Yajuj of the Quran, which also English or some of the uh, Latin language, like Roman language, is is a gog. And then, since the fall of Khulafa uh, Abbasid, which was uh, very early 13th century, from 13th century up to now, the world is ruling by Yajuj. Yajuju Majuj. Muslim is used to run by people who originally Yajuju Majuj, but became Muslims, as we know, as an Ottoman Turkish, who became Muslims. And the Western were ruling by the, uh, the, the, the Yajuju Majuj, who became Christians, and most of them we know by their names, which is, they call it the Gomerian or Germanic. But actually, I believe it's a it's a people of it's a it's a people of Gog, and uh, up to actually this current now from like I said from 13th century up to now 2023, the people who are doing fighting all over in the world they are actually a juju majuj. Like I said, original rules were a part of Viking and the and uh, Phrygian yajuju majuj, and now. They may fight very soon NATO, who is pure 100% Yajuju Majuju, except maybe like 10% who is NATO, who are ancient Europeans. But actually 90% of European NATO are actually Yajuju Majuju. Just like I will say that uh, 80% of Russians are also Yajuju Majuju. But there is another thing most people don't even know that. And that thing is historical. They agree all of by the largest ethnic Chinese we call Hans are actually related ancient Han people led by Attila the Han. And uh, they are actually people who were built against the, the Great Wall of China. They were built again to keep the Hans out. But on 2nd century AD, they broke the wall just like Khazar Turkis broke the uh, wall or dam, or barrier built by Turgarnain, the, the Hanis, they broke that wall and invaded China. And originally, but the name, China is not their name. The name came from Jin, King, the uh, kingdom used to call Chinese, used to, uh, I mean, they used to call them Jin Dynasty. Jin Dynasty is the kingdom that used to rule China, but the Hanis overthrew them and they took their name. Just like anglo saxonists and Jews and, uh, and Jews, anglo saxonists and and uh, all of this, I mean, those uh, those Europeans who came from Denmark and Scandinavia, Northern Germany, after they invaded Britain in the 6th century, they took the name British, but actually they are not British. So also I have another one, the Khazar Jews who were Ashkenaz Jews, pure Europeans, nothing to do with Middle Eastern people after they overtook what was used to be Palestine, now Israel, they took the name Israel. So you can see the you can see the the bearer that this is the the rule they follow, they overtake nation and they take that nation's name. So there is no trace to their origin. But I'm concluding that this video Gomer is a Gog. Gomer is a Yajuj in Arabic. I came conclude I studied a very long time about this subject because there's no any other name you can find anywhere. And all the European people, especially Nordic people, are actually people of Ashkenaz, which is purely, purely Gomerian and uh, people of uh, Gog. 
one of this Assyrian history on 12th century or on, on an 11th century, from 10th century to 11th century, he called the uh, Crusaders who were Nordic Europeans who were attacking Holy Land. He called the he called them all of them were Ashkenaz people who became Christians. Remember, Ashkenaz people who became Christians. They were purely one hundred percent Yajuj Majuj. When Allah says Subhanahu wa Taala, "Inna Yajuj wa Majuj yubsidunu fil ardi," Yajuj and Maj people of Yajuj and Majuj they are corrupt in earth. What we have today, corruption everywhere. Who is leading the corruption? The corruption came from west. And do you know who is firing them? It's firing them. Their cousin of Yajuj who is east, Russia, China, all kind of. So basically, one hundred percent Gomer or who are Western, or you call it Germanic, are actually people of God, people of God, also known as Yajuj in Islam. That's what I'm going to say now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.